Coach, as you start this uh, second week of OTAs, what's the goal? Well, just to see the uh, the consistency, the, the continued improvement of our young guys, uh, the consistent play of our veteran guys. You know, uh, the nice thing is we, we you know return most of our guys, and and the thing that's important about that is just make sure they're retaining the things and and doing the things that they need to do in terms of improving. You know, one of the things we talked about last week is about making sure that we um, you know that we. Uh, Understand the sense of urgency. You know, uh, last last week, you know, my, my feeling on the matter is we got about 100 days left to go, and the, the big thing is everything we do is preparing to, to, to play that first football game. As um, those young defensive backs get more familiar with the system, do you see them able to play a little bit faster? Yes, and that's probably the biggest thing, Mike. You know, that is, is when the guys are familiar with what's going on, their communications are a lot better, uh, their movements are a lot more crisp, and, and you know, just that confidence of knowing I need to be where I, you know, I know where I need to be. So that, that's been a, a big plus for us watching how, how these young guys are developing. You've got a lot of different body types in that wide receiver group. You've got a lot of them. How beneficial is that to the cornerbacks to be able to throw different types of receivers at them? Well, it's real important, you know, especially as we're trying to develop our nickel position. You know, the one thing that you want to make sure you have is you have a guy that can handle all types of body types. You know, you got to be able to handle the, the, the smaller, quicker ones, the, the bigger, taller, stronger ones. So uh, it is important, and it's a good look for all of our, our corners to, to get an opportunity to compete against those types of, of athletes. So it's been good. It's been a good development process for those uh, for, for those DBs. But it's also been good for the receivers because we move those guys around so much that they're playing all the different wide receiver positions we have. Ron, last year, number one in scoring offense, and you get Kelvin back. I mean, you, you think about throwing him into the mix, and what's that? Make you feel. Well, it's going to be exciting. It really is. You know, I, I think we'll have uh, you know some potential to, 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 to be better. I, I really do. I think we'll be better all the way across the board as a football team. But you know, talking about it is, isn't going to help you. You got to go out and do it. And, and I think the things that uh, we're starting to see is we're starting to see the development of our football team, and it's starting to take shape. But we still got a long ways to go. You know, we're we're, we're not even into in, into mini camp yet. So. Um, there's still some things that we're still working on, but you know I, I'm looking forward to minicamp. I'm looking forward to you know to seeing us just cut it loose and see how crisp we are as a football team. Ron, he said his conditioning is not where he wants it to be. Is that to be expected? Uh, Who's that? Calvin. Yes, and, and again it is to be expected because he just started running, and and that's the biggest thing is he's he's being able to run and 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 do the things that he needs to do to get himself in shape. And I'm excited for him because he's done some really good things in, in the limited exposure we've had to him. Uh, the last uh, couple of practices. So it's uh, it, it's one of those things that I know we can build on. I know Mike and uh, the rest of the offensive staff are excited about having him back in the mix. How Ron, comforting is it for you to be able to see him cut without a brace on his knee? Well, you know, that's just for right now. You know, as he's out here and, and he's really not working against anybody, he's working on air. You know, uh, he, he's, he's developing that confidence that you're going to need that when he does have to work against somebody and he doesn't have that brace on, he's confident and he's comfortable. But, again, that's going to be up to RV and his staff as to, you know, what the protocol is going to be with him as he starts working against other people. Ron, I don't know what other NFL teams do, but it seems like you guys do a lot of these Make-A-Wish grants. Yes. Um, what? Why is it so important for the organization and for the team to, to bring these kids out here and give them this day? Well, you know, we, we, we granted a wish. Parker Coward came out. He wanted to be a player for the day, and, and, and we did. We brought him in. He worked with the tight ends. But it is very important for us because, again, I think the big part, first of all, is our players have to learn and understand their responsibility to the community. And I think that's what they get out of this. They understand how important it is, how significant it is that they do give back to the community. The folks that in this community, in our region, that, that, you know, we're a regional football team, and a lot of our fans come from all over. And it's important that, that, that our fans know that we want to give back to them because we appreciate everything they've done for us. Uh, I think it helps our players to learn and understand what it means and then to actually go out and do it. I think that's even even better for our guys. He came out and padded up. He, I mean, he was ready to rock. <laughs> well, you know, I was a little concerned he came padded up because um, you know, I didn't want to get in trouble with the league. You know, we're not supposed to be in full pads. Um, but, you know, he's, he's a young man that wanted to come out and really get an opportunity because, you know, and, and again, he, he's, he's battling a terribly di terrible disease and, um, you know, we're all cheering for him. We're all pulling for him. Ron, when you look at Michael or a year ago to now, how, how has he improved? Oh, he's, he's so much more comfortable in what we're doing and how we do it. You know, um, he's assimilated very nicely, that group of guys. Uh, the players feed off of his energy and excitement. He's such a serious guy, too. He's a lot of fun to watch and a lot of fun to watch during practice because he takes everything so seriously. He wants to get better and he wants to be part of what we're doing. So it's exciting to have him out here and, 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 and watch him, you know, mix it up with the, with the guys. I mean, he's, he's been a, a big part of what we've done since he's been here and he continues to be a big part for us. What do you think of Vernon with some of your other veterans gone and him out there getting a lot of reps? Well, you know, it's always good when a, when a veteran has to take a, a day, um, you know, that, that the young guys get an opportunity to get more reps. You know, last week, Khalil took a day and it gave our centers a chance to work. This week, you know, we got a couple inside guys that weren't here on the defensive line, and you got to see Vernon Butler really, really work today. And, you know, it's going to be good tape. I look forward to studying the tape and see how he does.
Ron, what kind of standard did Coney set for himself with that Super Bowl? I think he set a very high standard, and that's what Coney kind of wants. It's been interesting because, you know, Coney's, Coney's, he's a different young man. I mean, you see, I believe he understands he gets what it takes now to, to take himself to the next level. And, 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 and again, he's one of those guys when I talk about we got room to grow, he understands, he gets that he has room to grow. And it's going to be fun to watch him as he, as he continues to, to get better as a football player for us. What's it say about you guys' confidence in him that you didn't add to that position in free agency or the draft? I, well, I, I, first of all, you know, being able to get Charles Johnson back, I think, was huge because it took the pressure off of us. And again, I, I think having Charles around to put his arm around Coney to continue to help Coney grow has, has been big. I think that tells Coney that we do have a lot of confidence in his ability to ascend to the next level. And, and, and we're excited about who he is as a football player for us.